Hello and welcome back to Galgorm Hall for the February update for 2019. It's been a wee bit of a stop start month this again. Uh, the scratch build series that I'm running I'm really enjoying doing but it is taking up quite an amount of time putting those videos out each fortnight and with the thinking and working out and actual filming time that's required for that it is limiting some of the work that I can do elsewhere but I have been doing wee bits and pieces I have a little bit more done on the Wills uh, uh, what is it the Wills uh, Victorian Houses kit uh, there's a little diorama coming up in that so I'm going to talk about that in this video I started work on the road surfaces and around the branch too something that's been on the cards for quite some time you know uh, I had hoped to do a wee bit more on that but really just time ran out and rather than rushing it I'm going to put the rest of that into next month's update instead so you'll see the first uh, first stages of that in development on this video. We will also put in the uh, 1000 subscriber giveaway. I mentioned in that part of the video that whenever the, the initial video came out um, I was at in around the 1000 mark you know and it, it sort of justified the the, the 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 giveaway since then it's just been e extraordinary with regards to the number of subscribers that have come on board and I'm now close to the 1700 mark so uh, sort of put that to one side and just sort of think of this still as the 1000 subscriber giveaway it seems a wee bit late now but you know uh, it is what it is what else have we done? Uh, a couple of wee brick walls built, uh, a little bit of uh, tree information on the other half of the, the branch and all that's covered this month too. So look, we'll stop waffling on anymore and we'll get straight over to uh, what's been going on. Once again, uh, thank you everyone for uh, subscribing to the channel, for following it, for making those comments. Um, one thing I'm, uh, I'm not sure I actually mentioned in the giveaway was that you know not only are a lot of you guys uh, subscribing to the channel but you're speaking to me through Facebook as well and it's great just to sort of make friends uh, albeit on a you know on a on an internet basis uh, with some of you, some of you out there you're sharing your work with me uh, you're showing me what things you're doing in your projects too I love saying it. I, you know, I spend an awful lot of time watching YouTube channels, but it's also great just to sort of chat to people on a one-to-one -one level as well. So, really appreciate that. But look, enough for me. Uh, enjoy the video. All right, and I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye. Right, one of the things that I wanted to do this month, finally, um, is to work on this road surface. You've, I'm sure you'll, uh, for those who have followed the channel for a while, will know that I've been talking about doing this road surface over and over and over again. Well, tonight's the night. So, um, initially what I want to do is to get a skim down on this, uh, to one to um, sort of seal in the cardboard but also to give me uh, a painting surface to apply the weathering and that for for the roads so what we're going to be using uh, is it's a, the, an old container um, some tile adhesive now this tile adhesive is white and I, you could apply it on just as it is in the white but what I'm going to do is put some into this container just enough I think that will um, sort of cover the surface that I'm working on and we're going to add a touch of black acrylic paint to it not too much, um, certainly not too much to start with. And we'll mix that in. Now 
through this as you can see it's going to give me a grey surface to work with I don't like roads that are too dark in appearance on a layout roads are very rarely if ever black they soften in colour over time uh, and depending on what parts of the world you're in they'll either get bleached by the sun they get stained by uh, you know, rainwater and dirt and salt being applied to the roads so you're never ever going to have a black road but what you will have are various tones of grey so as a base coat we will make this um, tile grout uh, sort of medium grey colour for the application <clears throat> and one of the reasons I'm doing this is that should you know, because this is basically a, a sort of cement type plaster if there was anything ever to get chipped um, you know, something fell in the layout and chipped it well at least it's now the colour that you're not going to see that white coming through so now that's done let's put the lid on the thing again I have two um, spreader things what do you call them and I'm using one smaller one to do the initial spread and then we'll come back over it with a slightly larger one which will sort of you know give us our smoother skin so at this stage it's more just about getting it onto the surface We don't need to look for art of perfection on this because at the end of the day you're going to have potholes in a road but also with this material you have the opportunity to sand it down once it's dry to give a smoother surface. The other um, reason for using this, particularly with me having laid down a card surface initially, um, the card isn't all one sheet, so there are joins in it, and this will help fill in those joins and give you know a level surface the whole way across. But you get the idea. I'll go away, and I will. Uh, continue spreading this and we'll come back whenever it's more or less done and we're ready for the next phase. Right, a lot of you will have seen this um, wills kit that I've been working on and maybe some of you will also have seen the video that I did there uh, what a couple of weeks ago now on the painting of the brickwork if you haven't seen that video you can check on the top right hand corner and go and take a look but this is one of the things that I've been working on this month and basically I'm going to turn this into a small diorama um, as you'll know if I move the house out of the way I have a very small area to work with in this area before we get sort of the the sloping embankments from the main line above rather than messing about you know sort of building this up and trying to work in the scenery and behind the house what I've decided to do is I'm going to sort of build a small um, diora diorama on which this will sit and then once everything is complete I can butt it up against the uh, pathway here and that'll be that little job complete 
So with that in mind, here is the early stages of that. Now, what I have is my ground or my floor plan for the um, the house. Hopefully, you can see in the picture there. This is the outline as the pair of semi-detached houses sits, and whenever that goes on top, it leaves a small area on this side and on that side which are more or less equal distance with each other so this is sitting now right in the middle of that little piece of card so what we're going to have in these two houses is a small back courtyard with a side path which comes out to a gate at the front so there'll be no access to the rear because it goes up to that slope and also onto the tracks everything will be out to the front each house, well this one in particular, will have a little brick wall which will run the full length and enclose the, um, the little courtyard in. And the same on the other side, although that will probably just be one straight wall going to the back because we already have the retaining wall on that side there to act as the other wall. And then I'm just going to dress the interior of these little yards. Um, I have on order uh, two little kits from Langley. Uh, one is the little washing, you know, an old fashioned washing mangle. So I'm thinking of a little lean to hut outside here with the washing mangle tucked inside and maybe sort of a, a washing line strung from that hut to the house. Not 100% sure on that yet. And then I'd probably do something different on the other side. I'm very conscious that with the walls there, it encloses everything in. But I want to be able to get some little details there so as a viewer you so can peer in and see something. So where these things will get placed hasn't been finalised yet and won't be until I get the whole structure up. And I know sort of the size of the wee pieces that are coming. I'll have some waste paper or waste paper um, metal refuse bins out in the backyard as well. Um, a little sort of coal house or, you know, sort of coal pit, that sort of thing, you know, for storing coal, maybe the odd bicycle, um, you know, those sort of things there. The other thing I'm looking at is this wall here. I'm still of the mind to add a ghost sign to it. And uh, Gary from Cheeky Tech actually sent me a great photo of, um, of one for Lipton's Tea. And it might just work out, you know, almost perfectly uh, on this little wall here. I have a couple of ideas in mind for that and I'm not going to say anything more on that now. I need to speak to somebody else to see if they can help out in some way or another. But hopefully come next month I'll have more information on that ghost sign for you. You'll see as well with the Wells kit that I have installed the doors at the front and the windows and the doors at the back. I can't move an awful lot further forward with this kit other than some detailing on the wall because I need to decide now as to what I'm going to do with my interiors. I do want to fit out one or two of the interiors inside <coughs> excuse me, so that whenever I light the building up you can actually peer in and see something. I would imagine it'll probably be a sitting room and maybe I'll do a bedroom or something at the back. This side here I'm, you know, uh, the 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 house next to the line. I'm not going to to do much in the way of interior. Maybe interior up here actually in a bedroom would work, um, but the rest of it, with it being at the rear, that you know, the rear of the layout, at, away from the view of the um, uh, the observer. I don't think I'm going to fit those out, but I need to start looking at those there. So, as a project, I'll sort of keep coming back to this in future updates to show you where I'm at where I'm at. So one of the other aspects that I've been looking at this month is the slow continuation of the build up of the relief on this area of the layout going right down to where it curves round to go across to the other side. It's still very much early stages but 
as and when I get five minutes, I sort of slot in another piece of card just to um, to try and work my way through that. I would like to get that done in the next couple of months just so we can sort of see where we're going from there, which then turns the attention to the third bridge that's required for this area of the layout. So let's straighten that up. Um, this is going to be an angled bridge, obviously, because the track comes in at angle. I have a Pico Girder bridge, which is in the process of getting uh, a primer put onto it. I've actually had to chop it down at both ends to make it fit this area here, but it was a perfect sort of um, uh, use of that bridge in this area. So one will sit here, one will sit off centre there, and there'll probably just be uh, some very simple brick wall going through much like I did at the other end um, on the road bridge so this is a very early stages process or um, a project down this end but it's another aspect that I've been working on on the layout now one of the things that is actually sort of pre preventing me from moving on an awful lot quicker with um, areas of the layout uh, is this little building here if you aren't aware, I have a scratch build series that I am running sort of every two weeks um, and it does take up quite a bit of time sort of putting that wee video together and getting it out there. So at this stage, this is sort of after episode three and um, I've just applied a render to that wall and added some of the scale model scenery coins to the corner. This will be the final position of this building on the layout and this is on the, the, the hill that rises above the tunnel section uh, at the corner of the branch. So, um, like I say, if you haven't sort of come across that video yet or you haven't um, had, a, had a look at it, please, you know, click on the link above and uh, go and check it out. Okay, so one other little job that was finished off this month was the painting up of the little retaining wall. You maybe remember having seen it at, uh, in the last update video. It's not a very exciting little project, but it's just one more little job done on the layout. Uh, it means I can now start working on the ballasting in around this area. Um, eventually, in this white square, there will be the signal box for operating the crossing um, at the road and obviously also controlling the points in and around this area so again just another little job that was carried out this month okay so competition time um, as you'll know uh, earlier this month I posted a 1000 subscriber giveaway special uh, um, it's been a it's been a, an incredible month really I mean in the last 28 days I've picked up 600 odd subscribers so it, it, in a way it sort of makes uh, the the thousand subscriber give, giveaway a little bit sort of you know pa past the stage of whenever it should have been but look it's out there and I just wanted to acknowledge the uh, the support that all you guys give me out there by giving a small something back to you. I mean, it is only a small something, but it was it was it was a, you know the least I could do. But look, there's almost sixty of you have entered the competition, uh, and each and every one of you wrote a wonderful description about your interest in model railways or otherwise uh, some of you you know where you were coming from in the world I mean I've discovered that I have um, followers that are from the US Canada uh, Romania Greece the, uh, Australia New Zealand you know all of the UK as well you know it, it really is quite incredible and Usually I will reply to every one of the messages that I get, but in this instance, some of the information that was coming through, it was just so vast, and to sit down and take that time to to reply, it was just going to be, it was just going to take up too much time, but needless to say, I did read every single one of them, and um, it did make me feel a little bit closer to you, uh, my subscriber. So look, thanks very much for taking that time to uh, to write to me, to leave a comment, and to enter the competition. 
to look let's move on and get uh, the um, the competition underway I have the five prizes we'll work from the way I introduced them in the uh, the, subscri the the giveaway video and uh, I've got the, all the names into a little prize generator thing on uh, the iPad so we'll have a look at that and uh, good luck all right oh um if you are one of the successful uh, winners probably the easiest way to get in contact with me is via my Facebook page uh, the link will be in the description underneath um, if you don't have Facebook let me know through the comments below as well and we'll try and organize some other way that I can get your address details and you know your your prize out in the post to you but anyway good luck Right, we're all set up and ready to go. All the names are now into the na the prize generator. Um, I hope I have put everybody's name in here that actually submitted uh, to the competition. If I haven't, I just can only apologise. There was a lot of names came in. I think I got everybody, but I just wanted to throw that out there. So, first prize is the Airfix Level Crossing Kit. Okay. So we are going to just hit go on the generator and see who comes up as the first prize winner. And it is Midsummer Archie. Congratulations. Um, if you want to get in contact with me via Facebook, please do so and I'll get this out in the post to you. We'll set that to one side and we'll take that one off the list. And we will go again and this time it is for the Dapple... Uh, meat wagon hit go and this time it is Stockton Junction congratulations to you again if you want to get in contact with me um, and I have this out in the post to you ok two down three to go now what was next um, I think it was the the world's um, public toilets kit uh, yeah we all need one of those, don't we? So, um, we'll remove that one from the list and go again. And this time the prize goes to Malcolm. Mal, congratulations. Uh, this will give you something to do on those long haul journeys that you take. Um, get in touch with me, mate, and I'll get this out to you. Okay, two to go. And the next one is the Dapple water tower okay we'll remove Mal from the list and we'll hit go again and who's it going to be this time it is Mr. Split okay if you want to get in contact with me congratulations right the final one is the Oh, I'll not be able to get this into the screen is the Wills Country Station kit you may want to remove that sign but it's up to you a bit of advertising maybe so who's going to win the Country Station final prize of the evening and it's going to Hugh at Halnahoodie Central congratulations Hugh uh, if you want to get in touch with me again please do so look Guys, thanks very much everybody for um, taking part in the competition. Uh, it was really interesting to hear all your stories. And for all those guys that have won a prize, contact me via my Facebook page, which is in the description below. And we'll try and get those out to you in the post as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.